Hey, how to become a YouTube Ninja Master in 20 minutes. That's right, in just 20 minutes, you can learn how to build a YouTube cash cow channel that can provide massive income to literally change you and your family's lives forever. There's little time to waste, so sit down, pay attention, and simply follow these five steps to achieve your financial freedom. That's it. With that said, let's put on the timer and get started now. Did you know that less than 1% of all YouTube channels are actually making money? So what is it about these channels that separate them from the 99 percenters? If you don't know what that is, just hang in there because I'm going to reveal to you the success formula that these channels all have in common. It's not difficult at all. In fact, it's so easy that anybody can do it. You just need to know how the YouTube algorithm works and what it likes. And do you know what the best part is? I'm going to teach it to you in five easy steps starting right now. All right, let's get started first. First thing you need to do is pick a niche that will uh, withstand the test of time. Do not pick one that's trendy, such as a video game, uh, fashion apparel, or hot toys. Niches like making money, fitness cars will always be around. You get the idea. Next, all niches are not created equal. Some pay a lot more than others. Uh, this is an example of some of the highest paying CPMs in YouTube. Uh, CPM stands for cost per impression. An example of this is not the actual number, of course, only example. Uh, maybe video game channels will receive like $1 per uh, 1,000 ad impressions from advertisers. So if your channel was monetized and it got 50,000 ad impressions in a month, that means you will receive a dollar times 50 and that will be 50 bucks. But a niche like insurance may pay $20 per CPM and was to receive the same 50,000 impressions, that channel will make 20 times 50 and that'd be a thousand bucks. A huge difference. Um, granted, a good video game will generally receive a lot more views though than insurance, but you get the idea. With that said, just because the niche pays a good CPM doesn't necessarily mean you should go after it. Why? Because if you have no passion for it, what's the point, right? You're not going to be willing to do or learn uh, what it takes to be at your best. So you need to find a happy balance between good paying and passion. Of course, all this will mean nothing if there's no demand. So just pick one with reasonable demand, and you can find that with keyword search tools. All right, so after picking your niche, you will need to consider your equipment. If you're just starting out, you don't need to spend a lot of money. Your smartphone will be just fine for capturing videos. Um, however, depending upon the type of videos you want to create, other features such as wider lens, better quality, or anti-vibration features will be nice. Um, for the sound, you'll need reasonably good sound because if someone can't make out what you're saying, they will stop watching your videos, um, even if uh, your video is perfect. It's human nature, so if you need to invest in uh, an external mic, it's well worth it. Last thing, uh, depending upon the videos you'll be creating, make sure to consider the lighting as well. Um, a poorly lit or overly washed out, you know, meaning too bright, uh, will not help the quality of your videos. So now that you have a niche and equipment, time to get started with a channel. The question is, do you want to create a new channel from scratch? Is the question. For most of you, that's the right way to go as you know exactly what you have and it costs nothing. Um, but for me, I'd rather just spend a little money and go buy one. Yes, you can actually buy a YouTube channel. Here's the reason why you may want to consider this. Uh, typically, these age channels have been around longer and will most likely have features that we want, such as subscribers and watch hours and uh, monetization and longer video creations already in place. This can literally save you months and uh, up to years uh, in time. And of course, we don't want to waste time, so you, you do the math. If this ride is okay with you, there are many websites out there that offer it. I can personally vouch for fameswap.com playerup.com and accsmarket.com as I've bought channels from there before. Uh, just use some common sense to ask basic questions such as Are there any strikes against the channel? This is bad so just walk away. Warnings are okay though. Is this channel monetized? Uh, also if you go this route when the account is transferred to you do not delete any of the videos at first because if you do that it will also delete the current watch time. Um, I would advise you to rebrand and just unlist those videos to start. When you're more comfortable with how things work, you can uh, delete them later. Also, if you can find a channel in your niche, 
that would be ideal but it doesn't have to be software tools you need if you want to succeed in YouTube you'll need some software the first one you need is a video editor software to compose your videos there's no way you can be taken seriously without one as you need it for uh, removing bad takes cleaning out sound inserting your intro outro etc the one I use and can vouch for is Camtasia it's 300 bucks and uh, an intermediate product very easy to use and can do pretty much everything you need some of the features include video creation screen recording chat cam integration screen blurs frame rate control cursor controls transitions voice narration video audio effects editing captions uh, one of my favorite features is the batch video uh, rendering so this means that you can create like 10 videos ahead of time and then have your computer render them overnight you know that's a real time saver if you have a need for more advanced features to perfect every aspect of a video one of the very best you can get is Adobe Premiere but that comes with a steeper cost and much longer learning curve there are many video editors out there so choose the one that meets your budget and needs next you will need a good tool for creating thumbnails I can't stress how important thumbnails are to getting clicks so I use Adobe Photoshop because it gives me total creation control and flexibility but it does come with a steeper learning curve and uh, more uh, investment up front um, if that's not you canva.com is a free and it's very easy to use online graphic uh, creator editor it was a great tool for creating Instagram and Pinterest graphics as well as uh, anything marketing related that I can think of it's a great tool the last one I can recommend is a time saver tool for YouTube and there's also a free version uh, it's called TubeBuddy you can use it uh, to help with your tags uh, the paid one have more advanced features like batch updates and a basic thumbnail creator too uh, it's a highly recommended product let's move on to free images you can use on your videos the ones I go to the most for images and videos are pixabay.com and pexos.com but uh, if you want to use something different and paid I go to storyblocks.com um, for as low as 30 bucks a month you can gain unlimited access to their entire library of music videos and images for sound bensound.com is free to use and it's great uh, just make sure to leave a link to them for credit um, if you want even more variety epidemicsound.com um, is what I go to um, it's paid but if you use a lot of music in your videos it is well worth it now that you're ready to actually start making content so what type of content do you need to start with there's two types of content trending and evergreen content trending videos are based on exactly what's trending in the world of course you know like sports technology music uh, etc evergreen type of videos are ones such as explainer or training videos you know educational ones like this one that are not uh, as hot in the algorithm but people will always search for them as you're starting out with a new or rebranded channel the most important thing for your channel is to start gaining momentum therefore I would recommend making more trending videos first if you need some ideas for trending videos a good place to start is Google Trends just type in a topic and you can see how it, hot it is over a time span you can even compare one topic to another and it's a great tool alright so this is very important so I need you to sit down and pay attention because the most important thing you need to understand when brainstorming is how relevant your video needs to be to your audience you know perhaps at a certain time like the Super Bowl or Christmas put yourself in their place and ask what they would like to watch the YouTube algorithm is no longer based upon your subscribers it's based upon how relevant your video topic and content is to them so if your video is highly relevant to a group of audience YouTube will recommend it to them not just your subscribers as you can see there's a huge advantage in that it's very important that you understand this as it will determine the success of your video channel or not welcome back so now that you know what type of videos to make how are you going to optimize it for monetization let's start with AdSense you know AdSense is allowing YouTube to insert ads from advertisers into your videos to start longer videos are better than short videos okay the magic time limit is uh, 8 minutes because videos over 8 minutes qualify for mid row ads mid row ads enable you to insert ads in multiple locations in your video and not just before or after the video like the uh, standard ones obviously the more ads you have 
the more uh, money you make. Simple as that. You know, with that said, just don't make a video long for the sake of being long because it will fill up with, you know, filler crap content, right? So people are going to click away. So find your happy balance. You can probably get away with inserting an ad every two or three minutes of content without getting people too upset or, or pissed off. Or you have very engaging content, people will stick around. So the key here is to have content that actually provide value and not just filler. The next type of method you can use to monetize is through sponsors. You know, once your channel starts picking up some serious traction, you will start receiving sponsorship uh, contacts through email. How much you will make here will depend upon your channel and uh, negotiation skills. Be selective as your channel picks up more momentum, there will be more sponsors. So negotiate high. Start around, I would say, you know, five thousand. Don't, you know, don't sell yourself short. Okay, start around five thousand dollars and negotiate down. Finally, choose companies that align with your values because your audience can sense, you know, the integrity of your channel and if you really do care about them. All right. So a request uh, the sponsors may ask of you is to spend about a minute or less mentioning their products in your video. Right. This is called an uh, integration request. Another request they may ask is for you to create a video solely dedicated to their product or service. These dedicated videos will pay higher, but as uh, you can obviously see, you're just acting as a pitch man for them, and they may uh, that may turn off some of your fans or audience. Another way, and my favorite, is you can monetize with affiliate marketing through your videos. Uh, essentially, you will leave an affiliate link and receive a commission for the people on your channel clicking on it and buying a product, right? There are tons of companies out there willing to pay you commission from Amazon to you name it. Digital products like weight loss plans, educational and how to's are really easy to sell. The um, easiest one to sign up for is ClickBank, uh, JVZoo and Commission Junction is also great. There are many of them so you can get an affiliate commission from stores like Best Buy's. You can find out about affiliate opportunities from their websites usually at the bottom of the footer through a partner or affiliate a link to sign up. I like the digital affiliate products more because those you usually pay on average 50% of the product and up. So you can make a ton of money from affiliate marketing. The last one I can recommend is through a Patreon support. You know, uh, typically this is associated with artists, but it can be for anyone who owns a website or uh, runs a YouTube channel. As long as you have fans that appreciate your channel, and want to help it survive. For example, through the Patreon.com website, you can set up a membership for loyal fans to contribute, like you know, a dollar a month to help support your channel. In return, you can offer them exclusive content such as personal messages, pre-releases, bloopers, etc. <laughs> Okay, glad you made it this far. Now that you have all the components, it's still not enough. That's right, it's all about execution that will determine success or failure. Thumbnail, I can't stress how important a thumbnail is. You know, in fact, I believe it's the most important ingredient to the success of your channel. Um, that is because 90 to 95% of all the views you receive are going to come from your uh, YouTube recommendations. And you know how those recommendations get clicked on, don't you? That's right, it's the thumbnail that draws the attention of the viewers because, you know, what do people generally do after they finish watching a video? They click on something in their list of recommendations on the right side in YouTube. Okay, so let's look at CTR. It's the uh, click-through rate of your video, and that's when YouTube lists an impression of your video, you know, alongside other people's videos, like, you know, example on the homepage. How many clicks did your video get? You know, what determines CTR and why is CTR important? CTR is measured when YouTube suggests your video on the recommendation area to the right of a video uh, being watched. Let's say YouTube suggested it 100 times to many users and 7 people clicked on the video, right? The math would be 7 divided by 100 or 7%. So um, if the click-through rate of your video on the average outperforms another person's videos or even an another video of yours, uh, what's going to happen? You know, that's right. YouTube will recommend it even more. Um, so how do you get a good click-through rate? Simple, you just need an awesome thumbnail that gets attention. Look at these examples here. The one entitled Bully Meets Big Guy shows a picture of a confrontation. 
You know, it's just natural for wanting to know what's going to happen next, right? The other two thumbnails here depict a before and after. Uh, the red arrows focuses the attention of the viewers, and the fonts are really easy to read. All right, so before making any videos, it's important that you research the search volume of uh, the topics of keywords you want to rank for. Um, after all, if you're going to make videos, make one that people are interested in watching, right? There's not much point in making a video on a topic nobody wants to watch. Um, don't be fooled by uh, only searching for very popular keywords, though, because those are harder to rank for, um, and they're taken up by like authority channels. Um, therefore, it may be wiser for you to search for longer tail keywords as those are easier to rank for. Um, there are many keyword tools, but Keyword Surfer is great. It's a free Chrome extension. You can get estimated search volume, cost per click, uh, info on your competitors, and long tail keywords. It's great and free. You should also Pair this with Google Trends to confirm if a topic is still uh, relevant. Without fresh and interesting topics, you can know all the hacks in the world, but nobody's going to click on a video with a boring topic when there's so many other choices out there that they can spend their time on. All right, pay attention here now. Your title, description, and tags is extremely important when it comes to how YouTube will recommend uh, your video to others. Therefore, you need to carefully craft these. After a viewer notices your thumbnail, they will glance at the title and see what it's you know it all about, right? You need to have a title that not only pops up but accurately describes the topic of your video. Therefore, you need to spend some quality time thinking about the structure of your title. Remember that uh, your title needs to be very relevant to the content because that leads to a good watch time. If you have clickbaity title, people uh, will leave and your watch time will plummet. So. Make sure that your title uh, is accurately depicting your video. Some excellent titles are like this. The number one X to X. Or, well, you know, example is the number one stock to buy in 2050. How to X and X, you know, i.e. how to buy a car with only $100. Why you shouldn't, you know, XX. Why you shouldn't buy a Tesla now. The truth about X that X, you know, i.e. The truth about keto, they're hiding from you. All right, description. The first sentence is what YouTube will display to users from the search results. All right, so it is important that you post the most relevant information here. Um, deeper in the body, be sure to accurately describe what your video is about as well as include keywords, but uh, don't overdo it with keywords. Be sure to use other long tail keyword variations that people may search for. Also include all your uh, URLs to your websites, you know, referencing uh, any affiliate sites. All the way to, at the bottom, be sure to list the top five keywords in a hashtag format. The more you can tell YouTube about your video, the better it can understand it and index it for search purposes. Tags. You need to properly tag your videos for what you want to rank for. First of all, perform your research using keyword tools such as the Keyword Surfer and or TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy has a tag feature that makes this a real snap. It, um, so use five tags uh, for keywords and also include long tail versions of the keywords that you want to rank for and TubeBuddy has a bunch of suggestions and features on this. It's a great tool. Use TubeBuddy. Everyone wants to know the secret for how to get a video to go viral. The success of your video going viral will largely depend upon the YouTube algorithm. Uh, so pleasing the algorithm with what you learned is huge. However, you know, viral videos contain the same elements you just learned about. It contains engaging content, um, a general topic for the masses, you know, so it's not so niche down. Uh, it has an awesome thumbnail with excellent click through rate. All of that combined with one more element watch time. If you do this, the odds of your video going viral will drastically increase. Congratulations for making it to the end. Now that you know what to do and how to do it, how can you make it a success? First thing you need to do is commit to this project for at least a year, you know, so do not work on any other project alongside of this one. You know, like Amazon stores, drop shipping, websites, whatever, because those will take away your focus and time away. And your channel will grow a lot slower and you'll be frustrated and see slower results. 
and will likely give up without giving it a fair chance. At first, it may seem you're doing a lot of work for little gain, but YouTube is a game of patience. You should not expect to see success in like three months. Uh, you got to be realistic. What you need to do is focus on being consistent, producing high quality videos over a long period of time. If you can keep that practice, I guarantee you, you will succeed. Thanks for watching. If you feel that I've provided you some value, you can really help out this channel by just taking a couple of seconds to like and subscribe. Also to leave a comment below with your feedback. Your actions will let the YouTube algorithm know that you appreciate the video and to enable me to make more videos. Uh, have an awesome day and undefine your limits.